Now, the Democratic Republic of Congo's parliament is set to vote for a new speaker. Uh, the vote is expected to confirm the shift of power in favor of President Felix Shisekedi in his past struggle with his predecessor, Joseph Kabila. Chisakedi's newly acquired majority, composed of 391 MPs out of 500, has lined up candidates for the top positions in parliament. The new speaker will replace Janine Mabunda, a Kabila ally who was voted out on the 10th of December. Now, at the end of an empty hallway in Burkina Faso Teaching Hospital, a group of children sat together in medical gowns, nervously awaiting operations that could save their lives. The smallest nine-year-old Landry Neon fixated on a phone game, while an older girl cheerfully encouraged him. Take a look. Landry Neon is one of the first five children in Burkina Faso to successfully undergo open-heart surgery a landmark event that doctors say could be a turning point for the country's troubled health system. <laughs> Shortly before his cardiovascular surgery last month, and the nine-year-old's mind was on the future. After the operation, I'd like to become a footballer like Messi. The aspiring soccer star had struggled with breathing problems. And his mother, Amandina Bilobu, says she tried traditional medicine before visiting a hospital where Landry was diagnosed with a heart defect. It was then that he was selected by French charity La Chaine de l'Espoir as one of five children for a surgical campaign at Ouagadougou's Tengandogo University Hospital, in which European doctors led operations assisted by their Burkinabi counterparts. The charity's president, Dr. Eric Chesson, says the aim is to create a team in Burkina Faso that can carry out the operations independently. The impoverished country continues to face major challenges in its health sector, despite increased government funding and international interventions. Dr. Adama Saradogo is one of the cardiovascular surgeons who took part in Laundry's operation. He says the learning process is slow in a field as complicated as heart surgery. He has 10 years of surgical experience. The European surgeon he assisted has 40. And it's that experience that prepares you for the unexpected, as with laundry. When we opened, we found another defect that was left unnoticed. Patent ductus arteriosus. It resulted in more bleeding than usual. The surgeries were a success, and now all five children are recuperating, though Laundry's recovery will be the longest. Two weeks after the operation, an infection that arose during surgery is keeping him confined to the ward even as the other children prepare to go home, though a cardiologist responsible for Laundry said his young age will help him get back on his feet. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.